Hello friends, welcome to Creator King. The first invention of the day has to do with burning flames, and for that, we'll need to remove the screws that hold the plastic shell of this long lighter together. Once the screws are out, start to remove the blue parts and open it like a walnut to look inside. Remove both the fuel supply and the metallic coating with all its pipes. To access the hoses, remove the top plastic of the tube and then open the compartment to remove them. Find a can of spray paint like the ones used in street art or graffiti. With a sharp tool, enlarge the hole in the cap through which the liquid is sprayed. Bring in the unparalleled superglue to secure the joint between the cap and the tube. Get a transparent hose and insert the thin tube to have double protection against fuel leaks. To give it greater density, the size and thickness of your hose does matter. Get a can of lighter fluid and wrap tape around the tip of the can so that the cap will fit more snugly. Buy two mini popsicle sticks and cut off one of the rounded ends. Take a bolt and a nut from your toolbox. Put the nut on the screw and glue the popsicle sticks to the sides of the hole. Make sure to place the nut between the two sticks as you see on the screen. Use plenty of glue. The more you tighten it, the more will come out. Put instant glue on the back of this recycled cap and attach it to the head of the screw to function as the gas knob. With a permanent marker, make an arrow pointing to the right and name the knob so as not to get confused. I actually still forget which way it closes and opens. This time they did have Cokes in the corner store, which was a relief because I don't think I could drink Pepsi for much longer. I don't have the capacity to ingest poison. With a box cutter and something to serve as a platform, cut the bottom of the can. I mean, two cans. Make small cuts all along the edge of one with a pair of old scissors. I don't know what they were stained with. On the other piece, mark several dots that will serve as guides to create a series of holes around the entire base. Use any tool that allows you to make these kinds of holes. Put both pieces together to create the mini stove. Don't judge it by its size. It's small, but spicy. With the same tool you use to create the holes, create one last hole, but larger so that the gas supply hose can pass through. Connect the hose to the mini stove and seal it with plenty of glue to avoid any leakage. Open the gas knob and bring a lighter close to the stove to summon a gigantic flame. The more you turn the knob, the bigger it will become. Calcifier? Is that you? What? No one has seen the movie Howl's Moving Castle? As you can see, you can regulate the size of the flame just like on a normal stove. In it, you can boil enough water to make your instant noodles. The following invention is a more efficient alternative to handheld flashlights and less expensive than the super flashlights they advertise on TV at 3 a.m. Wipe the Pringles container with a piece of toilet paper and immediately take out your deadly box cutter to slice the base of the can. Now we can see through the container, but just seeing is not enough, so we'll need a detective's magnifying glass. Place the Pringles can on top of the magnifying glass and attach the two pieces by placing hot glue around the base. This reminds me of when I made my homemade microscope for school. Remove the base of the water bottle with a box cutter and dry its interior with a bit of toilet paper or a tissue. Remove the cap from the bottle and cut the circle marked on the top with the same box cutter that helped us so much today. I'll have to raise his salary. Get a mini lamp like the ones you used to take with you to summer camp. They give such little light that it would have been better to carry a firefly. Place the cap on the glass of the flashlight and apply hot glue around it. Close the bottle with our new flashlight cap. This way the light will be projected in a more concentrated way. Take both the magnifying can and the lamp bottle and put the first one in the second one. Don't get the wrong idea. Take another cap from a water bottle that you found laying around and do the same as you did to the first one. Apply a little hot glue on the edge of the lid in order to glue a magnifying glass. Only this time it's going to be a smaller one. So small it looks like a toy. Surely you can't even imagine what the second cap we've created is for. With the first cap on and without the can, we will have a slightly more powerful flashlight than before. But if we add the can, ka-chow! You will dazzle your neighbors while they sleep 150 meters away from you. And if for some reason, besides wanting to illuminate your neighbors, you want to spy on them, simply add the second detective attachment to turn your flashlight into a NASA telescope. Wow, how beautiful is the moon today?
By the way, where's the man in the moon? Today we have tons of Pringles, and for that very reason, most of today's inventions are based on them. After tasting about two or three chips, empty the rest into these Ziploc bags to be able to devour them later. To accompany the snack, buy a can of Coca-Cola, which will mark all around with a permanent marker. Once marked, slice the can with a box cutter to obtain the lower half, which will be a simple but effective part of this invention. To be able to move it, use a pair of strong magnets. Attach one to the inside of the can. Look how hard it grips. It looks like those ice creams that they flip around before handing to you. Hot glue the second magnet inside a Coca-Cola cap. Push the bottom half of the soda can all the way into the Pringles container. Then glue the cap and magnet outside of where its counterpart is. This way you will be able to move it easily. Put those delicious fried foods back into our new Easy Eat packaging. And that's it! Your snack is ready! Just slide the cap magnet to easily push the chips to the top, making it easier for you to get as fat as a whale. Please tell me that you weren't one of the brats that took chips from your classmates. As I told you, here we have another Pringles container ready to be transformed into a great invention. We just have to eat its contents. After fattening up like a Christmas turkey, remove the lid and make a small hole with our favorite tool for this kind of thing. Insert a marshmallow roasting stick through the hole we've just created. It looks like an umbrella. Put enough hot glue on the umbrella to keep it in place. Make a hole in the base of the Pringles tin with a sharp tool, and then mark a long rectangle on one side of the can. With the box cutter, cut the marked part until it comes off. It reminds me of the message tube secret spies used in movies. Create a few holes on the opposite side to where you cut the slot, which will function as the legs of our solar rotisserie. Yes, I've had enough of using conventional gas stoves. Put the lid back in place, making sure that the stick goes through the hole in the base. Take a plastic bottle of any beverage. With scissors, cut off the base and the top of the bottle. Then, open it in half as if you were cutting a chicken breast to finish wrapping the oven, stove, grill, or whatever you want to call it. Place hot glue on the flat side of a cork and glue it to one end of the plastic cover to act as a handle. At last, I will be able to have breakfast. The truth is that I ran out of gas in my house, and that's why I created this solar oven. What one has to do to survive? Why wasn't I born rich? Put the sausage in the oven and get ready to wait a long time while the sun does its work. Let's go outside so you can see it. You just need to find a place where the sun is giving its all to light up the world and wait while you stare at it. And if it's cloudy, well, good luck. I think this sausage is all cooked. Let's try the work of our invention. Hmm, tastes great. We won't drink this Coca-Cola, at least not all of it. Get all that sugary nectar out of the bottle. You'll need more than one glass. Speaking of quantities, did you know that we should only consume a quarter of a cup of soda a day? According to my doctor, that's why I keep putting on weight. Get a sheet of paper and a tube of Mentos. Would you like one? I have a lot of them. They say I'm an impulsive buyer. Open the package and take out a few mints, or all of them if you're as desperate as I am. Transfer these mints into a tubular container to protect them before activating the chemical reaction. And since I like things big, we'll add a few sticks of baking soda to top it off. Pour the baking soda inside the candy tube and put the cap on. With this, we already have half of the invention done. We only need the activation system. Cut a piece of string and get your favorite liquid glue. Apply a little glue to the top of the container where we'll attach one end of the string. This way, when we pull it, the lid comes off and the invention will project us to infinity and beyond. There are literally just a few seconds left to go. Put the string into the hose, which will serve to direct the jet where we want and avoid getting us wet. Put the small tube of candy with our mixture into the soda. Also insert a small section of the tube and fasten it with a lot of tape. With the same strong tape, fasten the whole invention to the bicycle so that the sugary liquid does not spill out. As you speed down the hill on your bike, pull the cord and unleash the full power of Coca-Cola with Mentos. Look how powerfully it comes out. 
From this perspective, it looks like I've got a jet. Let's see it at normal speed. Well, maybe it won't give you a big boost, but at least it might make your opponent slip. A bit of foul play. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.